Welcome to Cindy's Creative Inspirations. In this series of videos, I will be featuring the Viva Decor 3D stamp paints. There are 12 colors total, two of which are matte finish, the other 10 are metallic. The two matte finish are black and white. In today's video, we're going to use this black matte finish. I'm going to show you an easy resist technique using the black matte paint and a few others of the metallic paints. For this easy resist technique, I will be using this new glossy cardstock. This is an easy way to create beautiful cards without having to get out your embossing powders and a heat gun. The work is already done for you with six beautiful embossed raised designs and this sheet that features both borders and tags. So here is my first finished card that I'm going to be showing you. I've used the Locking Loops Card Creator dies on all of my cards. And you'll notice here that this is actually one of the backgrounds. So let me show you how I created that background. This is the swirl paper, and I'm going to be using the black mat along with the spouncer. And all you want to do is pick up a little bit of the paint color, and you're just going to work in circular motions around on this embossed raised cardstock. This black is not um, shiny, so you end up with more of a distressed look when you work with it. And you can see how that design just popped. Leave it for about four to six minutes and you're able to work with this paper and use it to die cut like I did using the Card Creator Matting Basics A. So let's use a different design in that paper and I'm going to use the purple paint. And this time I'm going to be using a little finger sponge dauber. You can use a sponge, you can use paper towel, whatever you choose. But this one I'm just gonna pick up some paint and then again I'm gonna work in circular motion. And you can see how beautiful the design is and it just pops right off the page. Again, so this is a very quick, easy way to make beautiful cards using the 3D stamp paint without having to get out your embossing gun or the embossing powders. So let's look at a couple other of the cards that I created. This one here, using the new tags. And I cut out the tag. First of all, I used the, the lavender that you just saw me use, and then I cut out the tag. Also on the tags are these little elements, and this is the little butterfly, and I just made it so it looks like it's 3D on the front of my card. For There's another one here, and for my bow, I took the Eleganza web ribbon here, and I cut it in half, and then I used a little bit of the 3D stamp paint right on the edges here to complete my card. The background here on my locking loops is in a previous video that I have done and it's basically just using two colors of the 3D stamp paint and then stamping on top with the black with that design as the black resists the stamp paint and gives you a really beautiful effect. This card is again using the same background technique and you can see this on black and this on white so even though I've used the same colors you get a totally different look and this time again I've used the black that we just used the black mat and I used it on both the border and on my tag and then you'll notice that on both of these cards have bottle caps and what I did with the bottle caps is I actually used the spouncer and I just touched the edges with the black mat on both of them and for this image, I used the bottle cap images right here that are called Vintage Boutique. And they're 65 one inch circles, just like this. And you just use a one inch punch and you place it and punch. And then you have your image that fits perfectly in your bottle cap. So you'll see it just fits right in there. And I actually use the E6000 glue to adhere both my papers into my bottle caps and my bottle caps to my cards. And then for the locking loops, I actually use the E6000 spray adhesive just because it's a really easy adhesive to use. It's clean, it doesn't smell, and it's water washable as far as a cleanup goes. 
And that way you can actually spray and get all of these little details to, to stick on versus trying to figure out a different way. This image here, I created using my bottle cap stamps. And this one right here. And then in the words and typewriter, I have the Easter blessings. So I use blessings on this card and they fit perfectly inside here. And of course you'll see in here, I did Easter blessings and I just used the matching color um, stamp pads that match my image here. I've tied a bow and in here for my layers, I've used Card Creator Basics A and cut the two different layers. So these paints actually have endless possibilities. I will be back soon with another 3D stamp paint video featuring other fun techniques, but I just was so excited to show you how easy and quick and fast you can make cards using the new embossed glossy cardstock. So all of the items that I used in this video can be found on stampingscrapping.com. Thanks for watching.